So in the hospital, we often have patients come in with diabetes or vascular disease, and often they have chronic wound infections. Uh, these are very difficult to treat and they're very distressing for the patients. They can lead to amputation or even a loss of life. Um, we find these very difficult to treat because bacteria can become resistant to antibiotics and also because bacteria produce a slime, a thing called biofilm, which prevents antibiotics getting to them and prevents it working to treat their infection. Were you doing some research on that, Danny? Yeah, I actually am. So antimicrobial resistance is a continuous and growing problem. And as you are aware, under the conventional antibiotic treatment, the bacteria just continues to evolve frequently. So what we are doing in our lab at the moment is just looking at novel, at novel drugs as an alternative to treat chronic infe wound infections, for example. So some of the drugs that we are working at the moment are, are antimicrobial peptides, bacteriophages, and endolysins, and that way we can treat wound infections and fight antimicrobial resistance in a way that the resistance evolves, doesn't evolve that frequently. Maureen, why aren't you doing something related with biofilm? Yeah, I've been looking into biofilms. So some bacteria can form these complex structures called biofilms. Mm -hmm. So these are dense clumps of bacteria that f form this protective structure so that some of the bugs inside are protected from, say, antibiotics that can't penetrate through this biofilm structure. In the lab, it's really important that we look at new therapies that not only kill these singular bacteria, but also bacteria within this biofilm structure. So these biofilms can often be found in wound infections. That means that bacteria can stick around even after antibiotic treatment. And we're looking at new methods of removing and treating these biofilms. So I'm looking at these light activated chemical compacts that can actually kill the bacteria biofilm. This is important as these can help treat these chronic wound infections, such as those found in diabetic foot wounds. So we've heard how our researchers in the Department of Clinical Microbiology have come up with new treatments for infections. We're now going to hear from Connor and Aoife, who are coming up with new ways of preventing the spread of superbugs in our hospitals. So Aoife, one of the biggest challenges that we face in microbiology is in relation to superbugs, which are bacteria that are resistant to lots of different types of antibiotics. CPE, which stands for carbapenemase producing antibacteriales, is one of the newest types of superbugs. What makes CPE really challenging is that it can survive on its own in the hospital environment. I know that you're doing some research in relation to CPE, and I was wondering, could you tell me a bit more about it? Yeah, so CPE are bacteria that are found in the gut, and as you say, they're able to survive in the hospital environment on their own. So they typically will be establish reservoirs in U-bends or pipe works that are near sinks or shower drains. And because patients interact with these things, they can potentially pick up the infection with a superbug directly from the environment. So my research focuses on the best ways of going and finding them in the hospital, hopefully trying to remove them or prevent the reservoirs becoming established in the first place. So if we can prevent the patients from picking up the infection in the first place because they're so difficult to treat, we can help keep patients safe. 